morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is the final day of racing here at the 2014 Grand Finals. I'm joined by Sydney Edwards. I'm Tony Laporta. Today we're going to be talking about the nine Americans and the five Canadians from North America that have made it through all the heat races, the last chance qualifiers, and are going to be competing today in the main events. That's right, Tony. It looks like rain is in the forecast like we've talked about all weekend long, so it's going to make things very interesting. These drivers are going to have a tough competition out there, but it's going to make for some exciting racing, and I'm excited to catch up with them at the end of the day. Okay, I'm now joined by Team Canada DD2 driver Ben Cooper. Uh, ben, you just got off the track from your main event. You drove to a fantastic second place finish. You were right with Babington at the start. Unfortunately, he was able to pull away. Uh, how was the track, especially as it was raining right before your race, the sun began to come out. What were the changing track conditions like? Uh, the track conditions were probably the worst they could possibly be. You know, it wasn't really wet, it wasn't dry. It was just that greasy stage, and uh, it was always a bit of a gamble on tire pressures and so on. And I think Sean just... Uh, he, he gambled a little bit right, and I think he got the tire pressures right, and and he got a, he got a good start and got a gap, and I tried everything possible to try and catch him, different lines here and there, and he's just he's just that little bit quicker, and uh, to be honest, he he deserved it. He was quick as every every almost every session this weekend, and uh, won all the heats, and he did, deserved to win the final. Well, you had the strongest finish of the week for Team Canada. You represented your country very well. As you talked to Sydney uh, yesterday, I believe it was, you told us this is something like your seventh or eighth grand finals. How does this week, now that it's over, it's in the rear view, you're going to go up and get a second place trophy. How does this week, this year's grand finals, compare to the rest of your grand finals? Uh, not quite so good, so I did a second. But um, no, it's the first time I've been vice champion, so I'm, I'm really happy. I'm relieved, to be honest, that, that the weekend's over. I, I get myself quite worked up and nervous, so I'm, I'm quite happy it's over. Um, it's, it's, been a, it's been an interesting week. Um, I've come here back for the first time actually since 2005, my first ever Grand Finals with my dad. He's been my, my mechanic this weekend, so it's been great to have him back as uh, working together. And we've just enjoyed it like a family and a father and son, a bit like what I think Carton should be like. Well, you ran great this whole week. Everybody in North America is very proud of you. Congratulations and uh, safe travels home to you and your family. Thank you very much. Cheers. We're joined again here by Fred Woodley, another DD2 driver for Team Canada. Fred, we talked to you earlier in the week. You qualified ninth. Did you ever anticipate being able to finish fourth here at the Grand Finals? Uh, not really. Like coming into the race, my goal was uh, top ten. That was pretty much where I wanted to wanted to be. And uh, you know, we saw other drivers from Canada do it in years before at the first time at the Grand Finals. So I thought uh, that was an achievable goal. But uh, you know, as the week went on, we thought maybe like top fifteen should be the goal. And uh, so to you know start ninth, progress through, and um, end up P four was uh, it's a great surprise. Yeah, you mentioned this is your first Grand Finals. Tell us how it feels, how the experience went, and what it was like running in the rain today. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a, definitely a different atmosphere. Usually under the, the Marinello tent uh, that Trevor runs in, uh, in Canada, it's, uh, there's a lot more room, uh, more, uh, less people. Um, you know, everything just has a lot more space, and there's, you know, everything's crammed here. Uh, like half a table that we get to use. My helmet has to sit on the ground, things like that. Um, so uh, yeah, space-wise, it was a lot different, and uh, the environments—it um, uh, almost seems a little bit stressed sometimes, uh, especially when finals are coming up or when we first got the carts and everything's everyone's trying to do things on it. Uh, you know, it's everyone's uh, a little bit tense, and there are a lot of things going on. So um, you know, there's uh, there's that aspect to it, but uh, overall, it's been a, it's been a great experience. And uh, as long as you just keep your keep your head down and stay focused, uh, it really it won't affect you that much. Yeah, you know, that seems to be, everybody seems to think the same thing, but, you know, that's the atmosphere of the Grand Finals. That's, what, that's what's great about it. You, it was tough track conditions, but you drove to an awesome fourth-place finish. You made everybody in North America proud, and thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you. I'm lucky enough now to be joined by a good friend and a great representative of the United States, Captain America, Alan Rudolph. Well, hey. Wow. Oh, speaking of that. Captain America, Alan. You had to start the race from the dead last position after racing your way into sixth in the LCQ yesterday. Due to the rainstorms that hit the area, they canceled the pre-finals and went straight to the main events, meaning you started 34th out of 34 go-karts. You had a fantastic drive, making it all the way up to where was it, seventh position? Seventh position, tell us about the race. Obviously, it was uh, crazy. It's not what I wanted to not have a pre-final. Not having the pre-final killed me because I... It was a pre-final was a little shorter, but I probably could have made it to at least 12th or 15th, uh, maybe better. But at the end of the day, that would have been half the cars. I'd have been much further up and better off in the final. But uh, what the heck? I mean, you know, from where we, the things we had to overcome to even get to the final, 
between not being able to qualify, the engine being stuck and not being able to run a third heat, starting 25th in the LCQ to then make the show, awesome. Such a fantastic drive this week. Like I said earlier, you're a great representative of the United States and karting in our country. Congratulations on a great week. You and your tuner, Jesse Dunham, overcame a lot of adversity. And again, congratulations, man. You did great. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate it. Well, that brings an end to the 2014 Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals. We've had a great week, Tony. Tell us how everybody finished. Great final day for the North Americans here. Ben Cooper drove to a second place finish in DD2 for Team Canada. Alan Rudolph and DD2 Masters from the United States drove from dead last on the grid to finish seventh. After the rain came and canceled the pre-finals, everyone was forced to readjust. But boy, the drivers from North America had a great day. Everybody just, just had a fantastic day great way to end the 15th annual grand finals here in Spain. You're absolutely right. We want to make sure we thank everybody for tuning in this week and we want to wish everybody a great 2015 season.